Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wax Pack Guides. I hope you're doing well. Today, I thought I would continue on with my look at a stack of old uh, Montreal Expos baseball cards. I guess there really aren't anything but old Montreal Expos cards at this point, which is kind of sad. But we can see we're going to start off with a 1983 Topps Charlie Lee. He's peering at us through our plastic baggie. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we saw him earlier in another video, um, which I'll link here, you know, on his 82 Tops card. He's looking pretty happy in this 83 card, and he's looking sneaky as always on the mound. It's kind of his delivery. 83 Tops has the kind of orange, just pinkish uh, shades with the gray borders. Complete stats, including uh, minor league stats, and then some 82 highlights for Mr. Lee there. Okay, here we have a 1984 Tops Jim Wolford. So I always felt like 84 was kind of an, an attempt to carry on the success that Tops had had in 83 by having the, the head cameo shot there um, with a bigger more action-oriented shot in the main frame. Um, of course, depending on your taste, these are a little different and you will like them better or worse than 83. I think I kind of prefer 83, but uh, if you're a team sorter, then uh, these were pretty easy to sort into teams because of the, the big black letter team name on the side there. And the heads, the headshots too were against a solid background rather than you know, whatever ambient background they actually had. All right, so there's Wolford, and the backs were purple. I remember this was kind of jarring when I first saw them, like, wow, purple and pink cards. I think the first 84 Tops card I bought was a Mike Schmidt single from a dealer who had busted open some packs before I ever got my hands on any, but I could not resist the Schmitty. I think I paid 40 cents for it. It was like in February of 1984. Okay, here's Ray Burris on a 1984 Topps card. Similar. The Expos logo looks good with the color scheme. Lots of stats, some highlights. Um, let's see, we got a Jeff Reardon 1984 Topps card. So I think by this time, Reardon was already uh, the guy to be the save dude for for the Expos, 26 and 21 saves. So he was their closer at this point. 81 tops, uh, Stan Bonson. I know we saw a Bonson card earlier. I can't remember if it was an 81 tops or not. I probably think it was a little earlier, maybe. I'm not sure. It's kind of red background in 81 tops, but with a nice cap. Steve Rogers. Again, a fairly underrated pitcher for the Expos. And you can see he had, had what, uh, 17, 13, 13, and 16 victories in the years leading up to this. It says that Steve collects coins and Indian arrowheads. I wonder if he ever got into baseball cards. At any rate, he was a fellow collector like us. It's kind of cool. And there's a 1980 Tops, Steve Rogers. Uh, kind of the banner cards, a little rah-rah, nice crisp cards. There's the 83 Tops uh, Warren Cromarty again. I think we saw this yesterday. Nice follow-through. 82 Fleer Cromarty. He doesn't look all that happy in this picture. <laughs> Must have had, been having an off day or something, or maybe it's because he's sitting on a school bus. That can't be all that comfortable, right? There's the back of the 82 Fleer. 81 Tops Hal Dews. Now that's a guy that I, I don't remember much about at all. Yeah, looks like he's fairly happy to be there and got a nice uh, warm-up jacket on. It'll be pretty nifty to have that in your collection, I imagine. Oh, look. Look at here. It's a nice rookie card, right? Tim Wallach, 1982 Tops. Tim Wallach. 
Beautiful. He had played one full season for the Expos at this point. 1982 tops, Rodney Scott. Nice green background with some trivia. There's Terry Francona, well before he became a manager. Um, he was an outfielder for the Expos at this time. Had played in Memphis and Denver. I think he was in the red system at some point. I don't remember if he ever played for the Reds or not. Could be wrong about that. Okay. Francona. There's an 83 tops, Jeff Reardon. 83 tops, Woody Fryman. He was getting some age on the old chassis at this point. Let's see, he was born in 40. So he was 42 in the picture, 43 when the card came out. That's fairly old for a baseball player. Ray Burris, big long uh, facsimile autograph. What is that, Bertram Ray Burris? Cool. Uh-oh, some contraband. Mike Armstrong in his disguise and in his Kansas City Royals uniform. I don't know how that got in there. But it's an 83 Fleer. So you do get an extra photo on the back, still in disguise. There's a smiling Steve Rogers on his 83 Fleer card. An 82 Tops Scott Sanderson. And there's another of the 83 Tops Charlie Lees. And another 81 Tops Stan Bonson. It looks like we're like looping through, but we're not. And we get a different brand and year here. 82 Donruss. Uh, Stan Bonson. This was a pretty big leap forward for Don Russ. They weren't perfect cards, but they were much thicker than 81 Tops had been. Um, photos were a little cleaner, crisper. Design I liked a little better. It's more baseball oriented with the ball and the bat. And the backs were much cleaner and easier to read. So there you have it. Um, another part of our stack of Montreal Expos cards. Let me know if you're enjoying this series and we'll keep going. Uh, if you like this video, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. You can find us at WaxPackGods.com and on Twitter at WaxPackGods. Thanks a lot.